Better than Panera mac and cheese. Seriously, this mac and cheese is so tasty. Look at this creamy sauce. And it's only three ingredients, so let's get started. Take 300 grams of your shredded cheese. I use mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and white cheddar. Half of that 300 is the amount of liquid you're going to use, so I use 115 of heavy cream. Next, we're going to use sodium citrate. Take 2% of the 300. That's 6 grams. Cook your pasta, and while that's cooking on low heat, add all of your cheese mixture items, and the sodium citrate's gonna act as an emulsifier, getting rid of all the lumps and making it super smooth. I hope you enjoy because this pasta was seriously delicious, and it's gonna save you money on the Panera takeout line. We're making green chili chicken taquitos. Let's go. First, take your pasilla pepper and dice it up nice and small, and do the same with two jalapenos. I removed some of the seeds, and to protect my eyes, because I've touched them before, I use produce bags. It works. I know it's not great, but I didn't have gloves. Next, we're going to dice that up, and a nice white onion as well, and we're going to put that all into a skillet on medium to high heat, and saute. Add a little pepper, add a little salt, and then you're ready to go. In the meantime, we boiled some chicken, and then we're going to shred it into this bowl. You can also use leftover chicken or rotisserie chicken. Add your peppers, add your cheese, and add four ounces of cream cheese, and give it a nice stir. This is our filling. We're going to heat up our tortillas because the warmer they are, the more malleable they are, so we have less chance of cracks. So heat them up, put your chicken in, and then we're going to use toothpicks to kind of hold them together. We're going to fry them. When they have their shape, you can pull it out, and there you go. They were absolutely delicious and crunchy. I I'm finna tell y'all why y'all should never delete y'all TikToks, and let me tell you why. One day I posted a TikTok and it had like 10 views in an hour. So I was kind of mad about that, but I went to sleep and I woke back up and guess how many views I had? 11. That could be you, okay? That could be you, so never lose hope, okay? Okay? Just wait your turn. God got you. We're making spicy chicken nuggets with Louisiana hot sauce. They are absolutely delicious. They are fried, super juicy, and full of flavor. So let's get started. First, we're going to do a wet mixture with eggs and buttermilk, and then I added seasonings. Red pepper, salt, paprika, onion, and garlic powder. And then douse that in hot sauce. Yes, that Louisiana hot sauce goes in there. And then we're going to cut our chicken into nice bite-sized pieces. Then we're going to have a dry mixture with our flour and those same seasonings because we want to double layer that flavor. It's really going to come through now. And then we're going to assemble all of this together. So we're going to dunk our chicken into the egg, the flour, then the egg, and then back into the flour. We're going to double coat it. Fry those babies up, and once they're good, we're going to take some butter and, you guessed it, Louisiana hot sauce and brush them over each nugget. Oh my gosh, literally the best thing I have made yet. I'm so excited for this recipe. For dipping sauce, I used some mayonnaise and Louisiana hot sauce. Seriously, this was so good. Louisiana saw hot sauce, please sponsor me. Like, this is my favorite sauce. These were delicious. Thank I was looking for a yummy snack, and I decided to try these air fry tempura green beans. They were so addicting, I ate the whole plate. So first, create a batter with cornstarch, one tablespoon of it, with one tablespoon of mayonnaise and some lemon pepper seasoning, about one tablespoon of water, and that's our batter. That's it. Then we take our green beans, and we're going to just toss it in there, and then put them in the air fryer. 390 for about 12 minutes max and then halfway through you want to flip them and they're going to look like this they are so crunchy and delicious i actually really love them here listen so try them out yourself a calorie deficit this fried rice dish is for you one cup of cauliflower is 27 calories while a cup of rice is over 200 you do the math this is going to be good for you so rice your raw cauliflower into a food processor and put that in a bowl and set aside dice some carrots and then whisk two eggs and cook them on low heat in your skillet once they're scrambled take them out and then turn your heat up add your carrots add your garlic and then add your cauliflower rice then i'm going to add soy sauce rice vinegar and sesame oil add your frozen peas and then for some seasoning I added onion powder, pepper, and some chili powder. Then you can also add your egg back, season with some sesame and green onion, add some sriracha, and you are done. You are not going to believe this crab rangoon dip. It is so cheesy. Look at that pull. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So what we're going to do is take our imitation crab, because we are broke, and add a tablespoon of mayonnaise, some softened cream cheese, 8 ounces, garlic, scallions, mozzarella, and some salt. Put in an oven-safe dish, and then just brown it until the cheese melts. Take your wontons, cut them in triangles, and fry them in oil. I hope you enjoy, because this one is the perfect appetizer. You're not going to believe these low-carb mushroom pizzas, and I'm going to show you how to make them. So we take our portobello mushrooms, and we're going to clean out the underside of the cap. Put your favorite marinara or pizza sauce in it, and I put a little garlic. Add your cheese. I use mozzarella and then some pepperonis. I cut my pepperonis smaller so they fit in the mushroom caps. And then I put some salt, pepper, and oregano. Put those in the air fryer at 390 for 8 to 12 minutes, depending on your air fryer. Garnish with a little basil and parmesan, and you are done. I hope you enjoy. This one's so good.